Hello. Uh, welcome to another slow Sunday session. Uh, I'm very excited. So Charlie Barnes is going to be joining us um, as my guest. He's got new music out. He's got a new single, uh, which is called Last Night's Glitter. And uh, it's great. Uh, I've also had a sneaky listen to some of his other new stuff, and that's really great too. So maybe he's going to play some of that. Um, I'm going to do a song. This is old Killer King one. It goes like this. So the good man said, turns out God is dead. The worshiping science instead. Faith in books they haven't read. They're angry all the time. Angry at some hole inside. Welcome to the spiritual dark age. Don't lose your grip, don't get contemplated By the space you live between first breath and then the grave No need to be saved, just some rules on how to behave Welcome to the spiritual dark age Oh, forget about love, it's not a hand from above It's not some dream and there's a rub Just chemicals that flood your brain They're writing poetry about serotonin and dopamine Welcome to the spiritual dark age Said, turns out God is dead. We're on our own. It's time to work out what is yours and mine. No reward to being kind. No quick fix for the fear you'll find. Oh, welcome to the spiritual dark age. Pass me those sedatives. Pass on being sentimental. Empathy and talk in general. Blink his on and take the middle. The day the TV died, only tie. Keep the family alive. Oh, welcome to the spiritual dark age. see a lot of you mentioning uh, the reorchestrated tour which was so much fun to be on and uh, Charlie was so kind would come out and do choices with us and it was brilliant right I'm gonna do one more little song then we're gonna get Charlie and see what he's been up to Honey, your face has slipped And there's vomit on your dress You've been picking fights with every violent type We've passed along the road tonight As I try and get your drunk ass home 
You've been acting out our remembered scenes from films and shows and from men and dreams. And you've been flipping off every taxi that pulls over. You've been laying claim to the moon. Cursing the sun for rising too soon. You've been knocking over every dustbin like the greatest trick the world's ever seen. You've been handing me your bag and calling me your pack mule. You've been laughing at the strangest things, dancing to police sirens. In why the hell have you only got one shoe? Oh no, 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 there's no hope for me. Cause on this damn road, you're the only one, two, three, for me. Drunken Love off my first record. Um, I think it's time we got Charlie involved now, right? Let's do it. Let's see. Okay, here he is. It's up here where we just wait now. And he's connected. Okay. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, really well, mate. Okay. I love the high up angle. Very flattering. Yeah. <laughs> Down we come. Down we come. Uh, Slowly like this. I love it. Lovely stuff. <laughs> it's like the periscope just coming up there. I love it. That's how are you doing, oh, mate? It's lovely I've, to see I really you. overcompensated on how high this needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was perfect. I don't want to get in your head there. It was absolutely perfect. You lined it up brilliantly. <laughs> and then I just I wiggled in there. I don't want to be doing that. How are you? It's lovely to see you, mate. Yeah, likewise. Very nice to see you indeed. Can can you hear me okay? I've got a funny audio. I can hear you absolutely on. fine. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Fine. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks, mate. How are you doing? Very nice to see you and hear you. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm all good. I mean, just uh, adapting to these crazy times as best we can sort of thing. Um, but you're doing something very bold. You're putting out, um, I, I don't actually, I don't know how much information is out in the public. Do people know? Oh, it's that? all out. It's all out. It's all out there. That's great. Well, because you, you're putting out a record in these crazy times. That's mad. Yeah. How you? Uh, how... I, mean, I was I, I was supposed to put it out about a year ago, but I hadn't finished it. So <laughs> you were waiting for the end of the world. That was the that was the backdrop. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> waiting for the end of the world so that I could have a couple of weeks at home to sit and mix it. Wonderful. I mean, so uh, I, I I had the pleasure of listening to it. You very much undersold it to me because you were like, oh, I'm just going to do some acoustic versions of the album and maybe one new song. But it's it's more than that. It's absolutely, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's it's brilliant. Like they're complete new arrangements and just wonderful. I, I'd regard it more as like a, it's more of a sort of organic version of the album. Do you know what I mean? It's all, it's all yeah. more sort of like, it's, yeah, it's like, yeah, more sort of real, real in the room instruments and stuff. And it's brilliant. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, thanks for it. It's, it's all literally in this room. All in this that one. room. So yeah. I, I think because um, you did you sort of uh, you worked with a few people that we both know. So I know did, um, uh, did Johnny come along and and they all came in that room there. Johnny, no, it was so that that was all done remotely. Um, okay. So uh, Johnny uh, Abraham, who wrote all of the nice reorchestrated arrangements, yeah, and uh, and also did a lot of the arrangements on my album as well. He's a very ah, very talented man. That guy. 
talented fellow. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, uh, he did some flugelhorn and trumpet uh, on a new version of All I Have. Um, and our friend Ritipo, who again has done lots of uh, stuff on stage with, with, with Bastille over the days, uh, over the years, he did uh, on two songs, he's done some absolutely amazing um, woodwind arrangements. Oh, brilliant. Um, and uh, yeah, I, th I think in, in particular, the uh, the new version of, of Macbeth, 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 is uh, is is one to one to be quite excited about. Yes, it I really definitely like that sounds one. Nothing like the original. Um, um, so, uh, when when's it going to be all out on streaming stuff then? Uh, on July the third. Okay. Um, uh, so that's not very far away. Um, yeah. It was it was all like basically I'd I'd kind of been whistling about doing it for a really long time, uh, and then once that when the lockdown started, uh, the guys from my label were like, "Have you?" done that album you were talking about doing is it is it is it there does it exist um and i was like oh yeah yeah it's here it exists um so that's uh, your business I, meeting voice i love it yeah for, <laughs> yeah we do we, we take our meetings very very seriously um so uh so yeah and i so I, I just kind of got it got it finished um i had one i had a couple of last finishing touches to do um so the the title track which is the one that came out the other day yeah um i'd i'd already recorded it but then it had been long enough that I'd been sat with the version that I recorded to have become uh, very, very unhappy with it. So I decided to redo it. Um, and I sent it to another of our mutual friends, Kira, uh, who, again, lots of Bastille touring, playing uh, violin on stage with us. And, uh, and she did this fucking amazing uh, string arrangement uh, to, to go with, with the title track. Brilliant. Um, so, uh, so yeah, then, then it was done and, and the, the rather than doing the usual kind of like, okay, so we'll do a single and then another couple of weeks and do another single. And then, yeah, it was like, let's just put it out yeah. pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> well, um, I, so... people, people want that content right now more than ever. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah and it, and absolutely. it's absolutely brilliant. So uh, uh, do you want to play a track and then maybe we'll do a little yeah. more chat um, and then another track? Uh, which one are you like going to play the... first? Uh, I'm going to play the sort of new version of All I Have, which oh, is slower and sadder. Um, I feel like my whole plan that I had of this magic... Uh, audio setup is is gonna not work in this context which is what i'm saying so i'm just gonna try something quickly okay yeah you you do whatever you uh whatever you need to do <laughs> Sip my lovely drink. are you getting a, are you getting a guitar with reverb on it there or is it just the sound play guitar out? and sing yeah yeah we're getting both hey yeah there's there's reverberation in there not so much. I on the guitar, this a little bit. Yeah, on the guitar. You, do you mean on the voice? Hey, yeah. On the voice, yeah, no. Be... No, the guitar no, sounds it's, nice it's... and bright and reverby, but not so much the voice. Oh, interesting. Oops. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just give it a go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting my life on this And by God I'll finish it It's mine to gamble with And I'll wear whatever fits Why do we Get worn down by hours, and we're left wondering what it's worth. Somebody else will always get there first. When will my generation? But it's all I had, all I have, and even though it scares me up to death. Oh, it's all I had, all I have, I try and try and try and try. And 
That was fantastic. I loved it. Thanks, baby. Yeah, man. That's great. So um, someone was actually reminding me on the, there was lots of very nice things being said on the messages, but they were reminding us as well, uh, because we pl played that song together, I think at Omira. Uh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. It, it was an um, education on me on how many chords you can fit in a song. It was, it was very <laughs> good. <laughs> Um, yeah, it gets a bit gets a bit fruity, that one. What, you know what, though? It's one of those ones, because uh, like me and Grant were chatting about it. It's it's really impressive, because once you start playing it, you realise there's all these sort of uh, fruity chords in it, but it's not one that gets caught up in itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you listen oh, to nice. it, it's all like it's all nice and smooth like that, which is uh, it's a wonderful thing in, in songwriting like that. Oh. Um, yeah, so this is going to be... Are you going to play the new one now? Yeah. So, so uh, I, was, I was listening to this one. I mean, I don't know how you've... Uh, maybe you don't like to do these sort of things but how do you feel about talking about what the song's about you know what i mean is um, that something I've, I've i've never been particularly averse to that kind okay of thing, cool well in which case uh, and, and, and i think a bit about with, <laughs> but like with, with this one is pretty like it, I, I was talking to my sister about this the other day um and like ordinarily for me i'd like to kind of wrap things up in about so well just wrap things up in a lot of layers of metaphor okay um but with this one it's pretty just like Yep, this is this is what it's about. There's nothing particularly <laughs> uh, special and hidden away about it. It's just like kind of a whole bunch of stuff that was in my head at the time. So I, I wrote it like uh, about two years ago after doing all of the bits of touring for uh, the Oceanography album and was just kind of like a lot of that album. The songs are kind of to do with the idea of success and, you know, what, what, what making it means and all that yeah. kind of thing. Um, and but that, like a, a lot of those songs were written say like five years ago um and life has changed considerably uh in in, in that time and once i'd released them and then was like singing them at, at, at shows and stuff it, so some of it felt a bit like 
Uh, I don't really kind of feel like that anymore. Uh, maybe. I you, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's just it's, it's a it's sort of a reflective song about uh, I guess just being. Uh, it, it, it's kind of a, growing up essentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And maybe realizing that different different things are important uh, yeah. these days compared to what was what was important maybe five or ten years ago. Um, in a in a like it, I mean most of the song is pretty sad um but they, they sort, of, sort of finish this on a light note uh, yeah i mean um, there's some beautiful lines in there absolutely beautiful lines in there yeah and uh and yeah maybe, maybe it's just uh whatever ages we are but yeah i could i can see all that that's good <laughs> <laughs> it's good there's songs like that out there uh but yeah let, let's let's hear it man let's all right this. okay sit tight Too ask the world was not to ask. 
Dressing room after I sang some of my tunes, or oh, how I cried. Grabbing for my phone so that I could check in with home and tell my wife. Not the times that I insisted, not this night would mark ambitions realized. Yeah, I'm realized. My breakthroughs were no longer wanting breakthroughs, will not consume all of Mate, fantastic. Thanks very much, Ralph. Quite, quite brutal, but fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate, loved it. Absolutely brilliant. So um, the album's coming out on, uh, the, did you say the 4th of July? 3rd. 3rd of July, 3rd of July, yeah. sorry, yeah. And yeah, I so guess, on, on kind of like, like all, all of the, the us, say again, sorry? It'll be on, on all of the streaming All the usual stuff. bits. And I yeah. guess like all of us, um, Touring's going to happen, but we don't know when or how or what. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, can't wait for it. Like, I'm really just so excited. Like, I, did, yeah. I, really, like, I mean, th th this is the first performance of any kind I've had in like four months. Uh, and it's like, it makes you realise how, well, it just made me realise how much I miss it anyway. Yeah. Um, well, that and also uh, I feel like I've been, um, when it comes to going to shows as well, you can take a lot of things for granted, do you know what I mean? You can be like, oh, I'm not going to go this time or whatever, that sort of thing. Yeah. But now it'd be just so great. Did you see the flaming lips with their everyone in Zorbs thing? <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's it. We'll start saving that's, it for uh, Zorbs. That's, that's, that's one interesting way to get around it, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, mate, thank you so much for joining me for this. And uh, Thanks yeah, for having me, I man. look forward to uh, the album being out in the world. Me too. <laughs> great, man. Well, yeah. Take care, mate. Thanks so much. A right, good you good evening. Take care. All right. Bye bye. All right. That was Charlie Barnes. That was fantastic. I love that. Um, and yeah, I can tell you because I've had a sneak peek. The album is fantastic and you're going to absolutely love it. It's brilliant. A wonderful new imagining all those songs. Um, okay, I'm going to do couple more and then I'm gonna say goodbye so um, as always if you enjoy these sessions and you want to support the sessions uh, go to the link in my bio you can throw in a buck or you can uh, buy some merch or whatever you really like that sort of thing really um, this is a tune called funeral <laughs> Lowered a mark with a stone low in the north at the mountain's feet. The north to find some peace. Sing and dance like we were young. Scream 
morning joy when you long so hard with a heavy heart. Not the shackle feet. Oh, passion. Oh, passion, passion. I must make more friends. They'll be hanging out my funeral. Just to make my parents proud. My parents smile, skin under grip of the skies, story to the most of our lives, oh, we go alone for the past of this year, go alone for the past of this year, sing and dance and talk, about the dumb things that was before, hard for the heavy heart. Hard to leave my daughter. Oh, passion. Oh, passion, passion. I must make more friends. They'll be hanging at my funeral. Just to make my parents proud. Just to make my parents smile. Coming around, we coming around. Don't come around, don't come around. Coming around, we coming around, do coming around, do coming around, coming around, we coming around, do coming around, do coming around, coming around, we coming around, do coming around, do coming around, oh passion, oh passion, passion, I must make more friends. They be hanging out my funeral, just make my parents proud. Well, I'm going to do a couple more for you. Uh, it's this one. Um, this one is off the last album, and this is called Where's My Money Gone? It goes like this. Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, said, song. Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, said, song. Where does love go when it turns cold? And this distance when we were close. Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, sad song. Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, sad song. Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, sad song. Where do we go when the light flows out the window? Well, I don't know, but where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? Where's my money gone? He said, said, said song. All right, guys, I've got one more for you, and then I'm going to love and leave you. But before I go, uh, I've got to let you know that we have uh, Robbie Redway, or as you might know him, Rondo Mo joining us next week um but that is going to be the penultimate uh session of these slow sunday sessions we're going to have two more after this and then we're going to give it a little rest i'm planning something special for august like a sort of one day event sort of thing uh maybe with like lots of guests that we've had hopefully because um the rules might have changed a little bit so we might be able to get people if it's safe and that into sort of a, maybe a garden a little mini one day festival sort of thing um, that's probably, it's too grand to call it a one day festival. Let's just call it a one day event, one day event. Um, and yeah, so, but we, we're going to, we're going to close it after these, these weeks, but thank you so much for your support. And, um, let's say, if you do want to visit the link, I've got a new t-shirt design done by, uh, Jim Flanagan, which is fantastic. And you can pre-order that in any color and any size that you like. So do check it out. Uh, and the final act that we're going to have these, so in two weeks' time, 
is going to be the wonderful fours. So, yes, it's going to be good. Lots of fun things still to go. Okay, this is uh, Cannibal's Recovery. And thanks for joining us. And thanks to Charlie. He's, he's such a lovely dude. Okay. <laughs> Cannibal with cutlery is a cannibal still, though you choose to forget that. You bang in rectangular in circular holes, though you never learn, do you lie? Oh, now tell me what should I do? Normally, I just talk things through with you. But you is me. Give me blues. You is me. Give me blues. Alcohol is a lubricant. Surely you could use it to slowly fuck yourself. All those years of crocodile tears when you're thinking of somebody else. Cards on the table, cigarette burns, and all. Scars in your arm and whiskey flavors your soul. You is making me blue. You is making me blue. You is making me blue. You Cannibal with cutler is a cannibal still, though you choose to forget that. Banging rectangular and circular holes, and you never learn to be a lad. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. That was that was wonderful, and thanks, Charlie, once again. Good. Okay.